What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I wanted to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that'll help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Toplotex 7-inch Meteor T07 D tablet. My bad. So um, I'm going to go and flip it over so you Pretty much I'm just going to go over what it says here, so you can pause it if I go over it a little too quick. It does have all-winner quad-core CPU, it has a 7-inch display with an 800 by 1280 IPS touchscreen, it has a front camera with 0.3 megapixels and a rear with 2, it has a 1 gigabyte DDR RAM and an 8 gigabyte HDD hard drive, it has a G sensor, it uses a micro USB 2.0 and a TF, uh, and it has a TF or micro SD slot that supports up to 32 gigabytes. It has a 2800 mi um, milliamp hour battery and Android 6.0. So I'm going to go and move this over real quick. And I'm going to go and show you the tablet, which I unfortunately forgot to charge before the video. So as you can see, it's on charging. It does come with a screen protector, which I didn't put on all that great, as you can see. Um, but that's nice that it came with one. The charging cable I'm using right now is micro USB to USB. It does have the adapter, so you can plug it into a wall. And then we do have a DC cable and an OTG cable right here and then it also came with a manual which is in English. Uh, manual is pretty standard, um, nothing too fancy about it, not, not giving a lot of extra info so that's what I'm here for. So I'm going to show you how the product works and looks but first I want to mention my Patreon. Patreon is a site that lets you donate money to help support my channel. However you get stuff out of it as well for donating. You get perks such as extra drawings for giveaways and sneak peeks at future videos up to a month in advance just to name a few. You can find the link to my Patreon in the description below. Personally I don't bother reviewing products I don't like but I feel like this was bad enough that I had to mention it. Yeah that's right it's not a very good tablet. Um, I have reviewed another tablet by this company, which I actually liked um, quite a bit, which is a Meteor T10D. Um, you can check out my review for that as well. Um, but personally, yeah, I, I didn't like this tablet. So let's start with the battery life. It lasts about an hour at most. That is very sad for any device, especially when it's new. Um, very first time I used it, only an hour battery life, kept everything pretty low settings, nothing too fancy about any of the settings I used, but yeah, so it's pretty standard. I do like um, this one thing right here, so you control volume by pressing here, um, however it does have the volume buttons on the side here that you can press as well, up and down, power button on top. Um, you can plug in the DC cable right there, charge here, mic is right about here, rear view camera, speakers right here, uh, not too bad of a placement for a speaker, that's about where my phones is as well. Um, what am I missing? Do, do, do. Oh yes, the TF card or SD, micro SD card slot goes right there. But yeah, so let me just flip that back over. So yeah, that's, that's that, but let me go ahead and open up the settings real quick. I'm gonna bring this camera down just a bit so that we can see this a little bit better. So, yeah, as you can see, oh, let me go ahead and raise the brightness up as well. So, I will say it's charging pretty fast. I just put on charging and it went up 5%. So, even though it has a very bad battery life, it does charge pretty quickly. So, it does run on Android 6.0, as you can see right there, which if I remember correctly, it is Marshmallow? Yeah. So that's not too bad. Um, the newest operating system as of the release of this video is 9.0, but it is pretty, it's still pretty good considering not all new products will have the newest operating system on hand. My bad, let me go back to about tablet. Um, yeah, and it is completely updated as well. Um, personally, I don't, like I said, uh, now for the display, this might be an issue for some people, um, personally I think the resolution is good enough, I use tablets mainly for watching movies and shows on Hulu and Netflix, I think it looks fine when I'm streaming videos, they are pretty clear, however the issue I find is that the speaker isn't very good, it doesn't get very loud, even when it's at max volume, however a good way to solve that is to connect it to a Bluetooth speaker, but um, just to show you what I mean, I'll go ahead and raise the volume, I'll go to YouTube real quick, see if I can pull anything up for y'all. But, um, 
yeah, it's it's nothing too fancy. It's also kind of slow, as you can see. But um, let's let's go just uh, play. Um, as you can see, even the thumbnails aren't really loading. But yeah, the speaker isn't very loud at all. I'm barely talking, and yeah, it's not all that loud. It's not very clear speaker either. Um. I don't, I don't like that it's so unclear of a speaker as well. But that's, I guess, what you get for this price point. I do like the width of it, though. It isn't so thin that it might just break in half, but it feels thin enough to carry around with you. So it would be good to keep around in your backpack. The screen protector gets scratched pretty easily, which isn't too big of a deal since you can always buy another one pretty cheap. And considering it came for free with it, that's, that's pretty good in my opinion. Also, you might see these little swirls everywhere. Don't mind those, that's just because I'm recording with my phone um, on a screen. Um, it's like recording another screen, that's just something that happens in the background. Um, it isn't very customizable and the settings are pretty standard as I showed you earlier. Um, but that's not such a big deal, you can always just get another launcher app, which you know, you can then replace, um, make it a little bit fancier. Also, most of you know that even though it says that it's 8 gigabytes, the amount you actually get is um, not going to be nearly that much. Um, so for this tablet, let's go to storage and USB. Wow, so this is a little too sad. So it's 8 gigabytes, you get about f a little less than 5 gigabytes. It's at 4.94 gigabytes. Um, that is very, very low amount. Um, that's 4.94 gigabytes that you can use for apps, photos, etc. This isn't very good considering that's almost half the said storage. It didn't have too many onboard apps though, so I'll go to that now. So of these apps, the ones that I downloaded, if I remember correctly, are AccuWeather, uh, Canvas, GroupMe, Hulu, and you, uh, YouTube. Everything else that's that you see here was already on it, which is um, pretty pretty good actually. It's um, it, the onboard apps are ones that you would use mainly or that you would need. Uh, so it's not bulked down too much, which is very good. Um, it doesn't seem to allow split screening though, which bothers me quite a bit. Yeah, as you can see, no split screening. Um, that means it would not be good for multitasking purposes. Again, as I mentioned, it is pretty slow, a little bit laggy even. Um, but yeah, it does allow screenshotting though. Screenshotting is pretty standard though. Camera is pretty bad. It has a bit of a tint, both in low light and in non low light, as I will show you right here once it starts up. Uh, allow. Mm, I guess I can't show it. The battery is pretty low. But it's just trust me. Oh, wow. Okay, so I put up the. the um, Oops. I put up the brightness and it is draining the battery like crazy. That is pretty unexpected. Um, even when the brightness wasn't too high, um, I kept it at about 50% for most of this video and it still drained it pretty badly. So probably wouldn't suggest using it while it's charging even. But um, yeah, just trust me on the camera, it's pretty bad. It has a reddish tint. Um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, you can go see the other review I made for the T10. It, the camera's pretty much the exact same, uh, both quality-wise and the issues that they have. But um, if the, I don't really use a camera for a tablet anyway, so it's not that big of a deal to me personally. Um, the only reason I use a camera is to take pictures of what's on the board or what my notes are, some of the papers that I have. And that's just for my own reference, so it doesn't really matter to me if it has a slight tint to it. But yeah, as I mentioned, the biggest issue for me is the battery life. So bad. And another big issue is that the Hulu and a few other mainstream apps don't work on it. That's right, Hulu is installed on it. But when I try to play it, only the audio plays and there's no video. That is a pretty big issue. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up Hulu real quick. Um, unfortunately, this is super slow. So now that I've also reduced the... Um, all right, so here we go. So it looks like it's working just fine currently, right? So we've got that starting up. And as you can see, it went dark. I'll go ahead and raise the audio though so you can hear. So play. So you can hear the audio, but you don't see anything, which is a big, big issue. 
you don't want that happening with pretty much a, a tablet, especially when, for me personally, I use it for videos, and for some reason the audio is still playing in the background, even though I backed out. Yeah, see, it's pretty... There we go. So yeah, don't like that at all. It also gets really hot and is really slow. It freezes often too, so it, it can get pretty hot for such a small thing. Like, it feels like it's overheating pretty quickly. So for $50, I don't think it's worth it. I just found this tablet to be so bad I had to warn people. So keep that in mind. So, all right, everyone, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe. The link to this product is in the description below. Be sure to check out TubeBuddy and my Patreon below as well. Thanks for watching.